of if you can change hearts, you can change minds. A local coach says his job goes beyond the basketball court. Yeah, he's also helping children navigate life's challenges like the pandemic and the push for social justice. He told our Anthony Castura, now is the time to talk to our kids about what's going on. Let's go. Keep your legs up. Dale Simulton is in his 25th year of coaching this children's basketball camp in Union County. Shot. Amid a mask mandate, social distancing and frequent cleaning, things look a little different this year. I think we're in a tough situation now. Between warm ups, drills, and shooting practice, his court is also the classroom for the young minds he helps mold. The subject matter surpasses typical sports talk and transcends into one about courage, confidence, and character. With a global pandemic and an ongoing fight for social justice, it may be difficult to have those conversations with kids. I believe if you can change hearts, you can change your minds, and you have to catch them when they're early. He believes that by creating a welcoming and open environment, teaching kids at a young age to respect everyone will pay off. That's what his drills aim to teach. Everyone should get a fair shot with the ball and a chance to score. And it all starts with words followed by action. During this time period, it's easy to give up. I think that we can use our words to bless people or we can curse people. I'd rather use my words to bless people. Coach Dale's goal is that these kids would learn lessons here on the court and then use them in the real world. He even wrote and recorded a song. Not afraid anymore, cause I found the perfect love. It's about loving and respecting yourself so you can share that with others. With the situation, with the riots and all those things, it's about true love. And nothing would change you. No statue, nothing. Can He's hoping by encouraging these kids to work as a team on the court, good job, good job. they'll be better prepared to work together as they get older, regardless of what they look like. In Union County, Anthony Castura, Eyewitness News.